Hi everybody, this is Dr. Jody Stanislaw, and I help patients with type 1 diabetes get great control of their blood sugar levels. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you three tips that you can apply to keep your post-meal blood sugar levels in a healthy range. So in this time of COVID, I'm coming to you live uh, Monday through Friday, right around 3-ish Pacific and 6 p.m. Eastern. And I'm coming to you live from Hawaii. I've actually quarantined myself in Hawaii. And I'm coming to you live because I really wanna be a source of inspiration and motivation for all of you living with type one through these interesting times to take really good care of yourself. So the number one reason that they say that we with diabetes have a greater risk of being sick is actually because that only really relates to people that are in poor health. Just because you have diabetes, maybe your A1C is five, five point something or 6%, something really healthy, right? That is not going to put you at the same level of risk as somebody that has an A1C of 7% or higher, okay? Now, most of you watching probably don't have an A1C below 7 because less than 20% of patients with type 1 have an A1C below 7. So the reason why I think that our care is so poor as a whole is because I think that most of you probably don't get the support that you need and you don't get the education that you need. I've had type one for 40 years and I work with patients all over the world and my mission in life is to really help you get the education and support you need to be in the best health of your life and get the best blood sugar levels, the best A1C of your life, okay? That's what I've been doing for almost 10 years now with patients all over the world. So today I'm just gonna share with you three important steps that you can take to keep your post-meal blood sugar levels in a healthy range. And if you wanna learn more about working with me, that is a, an absolute possibility as well. You can always just visit my website um, to find me, just Google the words Dr. Jody Diabetes and I come up. And you can even click on let's chat and schedule a time to have a call with me to see if working with me is a good fit for you. And I also have really great courses um, that go way more into detail than what I can do today um, in today's little video. So um, if you want to master your blood sugar levels, check out my website and either check out one of my courses or sign up for a, a free call with me. So today, let's do this real quick. What are three ways that you can have healthier post-meal blood sugar levels? Number one is going on a walk. So when you go on a walk, you not only help your insulin peak faster and your body become more insulin sensitive, but you also help your digestion. A post-meal walk, it doesn't have to be really hard. It can just literally be a casual walk. That post-meal walk can reduce your post-meal spike to a nice flat and even avoid the spike at all. Nice flat line. Okay. So we have to keep our blood sugar levels in good range to keep our immune system strong. So not only is going on a walk a great way to avoid the post meal spike, but exercise is a great way to keep our immune system strong as well. So you're really getting two benefits, three benefits, right? Lower blood sugar, exercise, and um, better digestion. So post meal walk, really, don't just sit around waiting for your highs to come down. Always use exercise as a way to make your insulin become more sensitive, for it to peak faster, to be, and for your highs to be less common. One of my favorite tips, actually, you don't need to keep correcting and correcting, right? Because if you overcorrect, then you crash. So chill out on the correcting and go for a walk instead next time you're high, assuming you have insulin on board. But I go into much more detail in my courses to explain that. Number two for reducing your post-meal highs is why don't you just eat lower carb, okay? I'm not a stickler. I'm not a really intense... Um, you know, you must eat this and you can't eat that person. But I'm here to say that when you eat a lower carb diet, blood sugar management's just easier. It, it's just easier. So um, I do recommend that. I have lots of recipes that I work, that I give um, to patients and I love helping patients figure out meal plans and all that good stuff. But the lower you carb you eat, the less chance you can have a big spike after you eat, okay? So that's step number two of how to reduce your post-meal highs. Step number three of how to reduce your post-meal highs is to learn how to microdose. What is that? Well, most of us have been taught to just count our carbs and then give one big shot for the number of carbs. 
but that leaves many patients very frustrated because it doesn't very it doesn't work very well. Um, when our food digests at very complex various rates, it doesn't really work if one big shot of insulin peaks at a point and then wears off, right? So microdosing um, is a way to do multiple little doses if you're doing shots or if you're on a pump, that would be a square wave or an extended bolus. We really need to learn how to master how to match our insulin to the timing of our digestion of our food. Now that's way too complex to go into today, but I'd love to work with you to help you better understand that vital concept that carb counting alone and one shot per meal does not affect it for most people. So if you're feeling like your numbers go crazy when you eat, that's probably why. It's probably because you haven't been taught the whole gamut of what you need to understand to keep your blood sugar levels nice and healthy before the meal, during the meal, and after the meal. This whole like don't check your blood sugar for two hours after your meal is ridiculous because a 200 after a meal is not, why should we let our blood sugar level go crazy after we eat and only check two hours later? That was the old thinking that they, they said, well, they're going to go high after, so might as well not look at the sugar level for two hours. Well, we can be healthy all the time while we're eating, after we're eating. We don't have to accept and assume that we're going to have a big high just because it's time to eat, okay? So that's step number three of how to reduce your post-meal highs, okay? Really important at this time to keep our immune system strong, and one of the best ways you can do that is good blood sugar levels. So I'm coming to you live on my Facebook page right here, Monday through Friday, right around um, 3 p.m., 3.30 Pacific time and 6, 6.30 Eastern time. I'm here to inspire you with education, ideas, and motivation to stay healthy. So please post your comments below, post your questions. I read all of them, but definitely if you're struggling with your blood sugar level, I'd love to help you. Now is the time to get it under control. Um, I have patients that say working with me is probably the best training they've ever received, regardless if they're newly diagnosed or 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years into this. So I would love to meet you. I'd love to help you. That is what I've dedicated my career to do. I've had type one for 40 years. And uh, I just know that most of you have not received the support and the education that you need to be successful. So let's see a few of you comment here. Hi, Carol. Oh, that's no, thank you, Carol. You're welcome. Greg is watching. Glenn is watching. Hi, Glenn. Eric is watching. Pam. Pam's a, I know Pam. I've worked with patients. Pam, or I've, I've worked with Pam and I love you. So anyways, I, I always, I love my patients. So maybe we should work together. Check out my website. All you have to do is Google Dr. Jody Diabetes and I will come up. I've checked that all around the world because I was traveling around the world before this whole COVID thing happened, but that came to an end. So now I've landed in Hawaii, which I'm pretty excited about. Okay. I can even show you my view. Do you want to see my view? It's pretty cool. It's my new office and look at my view. Dun, da, da. How lucky am I? I feel very lucky. So good things are coming out of, out of this. I know it's a scary time and you know, um, but there's also a lot of positives I think are pretty spectacular. It's amazing to think that the whole world has slowed down. I just think that's amazing. Pollution has gone down. Families are connecting. I've been connecting with friends of mine from childhood. It's been so fun. I was on the phone for like five hours yesterday. Um, I'm probably going to take a nap now. I might go on a walk. Aren't these beautiful things? So now is a time to... Um, yes, it's a scary time, but it also can be a really new and exciting time. Um, assuming that you have the supplies that you need, the food that you need, the health that you need. So I'm going to come to you Monday through Friday to give you tips for how to keep your health and immune system strong. So today was three steps, three steps you can take to keep your post meal blood sugar levels in a healthy range. If you want to learn more about that, check out my website, sign up for a call with me or look at my video courses. Dr. Jody ND.com. That's D R J O D Y N as a naturopathic D as in doctor.com. So tune in tomorrow. I'll be back with more inspiration. Have a great day. Talk to you then.